is up you guys welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello i'm keaton so today's video we've got another date in the life i'm excited to bring you guys along today because today i'm really gonna try get my life together as you guys know i was in texas for a little bit so it's currently 6 40 in the morning because they are two hours ahead in texas and now i'm in arizona so my sleep schedule is a little bit off so technically i'm waking up at like 8:40 in the morning which is the time i normally would wake up um but yeah i'm up very early as of arizona time and i think i'm gonna try and get as many errands as i want done today because i've been gone i need to go grocery shopping i want to clean up i want to organize do a little thing and i also want to get ready i did a little bit of self tan the other night you can't really see because i have my robe on you can tell with my face but i did a little bit of self tanning and stuff and i just want to like get ready today and feel cute so i'm going to try out some revlon foundation i'm super excited about i am having this video sponsored by revlon so thank you to revlon for sponsoring this video i'm super excited but today we're just gonna get right into it i don't even have any coffee here so i'm debating on going to starbucks also if you guys don't know and you guys don't follow me on instagram you're missing out because that's where i stay up to date with you guys the absolute most but i did post i had two dentist appointments while i was in texas i got this bottom wisdom tooth back here removed just this one um and then i also have a I had a root canal on this front tooth so my right side of my mouth is like pretty hard to chew with honestly they told me i can chew after a couple days and it's been almost a week now so i should be able to chew on it but it's just really painful when i start opening and closing my mouth a bunch chewing it's painful so i'm still eating or like drinking like smoothies and things like that um because I'm trying to be really careful with it. I don't want to get a dry socket. I don't want to get an infection or anything like that. So I need to go to the store and get like some other things that I'm going to be able to eat while I'm here. Also, I am about to do my morning routine of my five minute journal and my prayer journal. So I do both of these. Basically, I do the five minute journal, which is a lot of like gratitude focused questions. It says, you write down what you're grateful for, what would make today great, daily affirmations, and then all that kind of stuff. My prayer journal, normally I just like to take time to write down exactly what I am praying about and what I'm kind of like asking God or even just like talking to God, not necessarily asking. And I like this because I like to go back and read what I was praying for months ago. And a lot of times it's always like in some way happened in my life. So I always keep a prayer journal so i recommend if you guys are obviously religious or if you guys aren't you should just start so these are the two things i like to do in the morning so i'm gonna do those and i think we're gonna go to starbucks first and then we're gonna get ready and we can do our makeup and our hair i don't know what i'm gonna do with my hair i've been washing my hair a bunch recently so you can tell the color is very faded but we're gonna make it work just ordered my starbucks and I'm literally leaving the house like this. All right, and there you are. Thank you. Of course. Now I have my coffee. We're gonna go home and drink this while we get ready today. I'm gonna take a sip because I've never had this one. Okay, well, I've had this. I got a vanilla sweet cream cold brew, um, but I've never added the sweet cream cold foam on top. Not sure why I've never done that because they definitely sound like they go together, but I've never done it. So let's just, oh, it's gonna shock me. It scares me every time. yes okay so now we're gonna get into the makeup obviously i primed my skin with a moisturizer and an eye cream and i am going to go in with this revlon foundation i'm super excited about this so this is the revlon color stay 24 hour foundation this is oil free and has a matte finish and it wears for up to 24 hours so i'm very excited about this and i also have i, I don't know what shade i want to use okay so i'm going to go in with the shade 280 um, my hands are a little less self tanned than the rest of my body so we're going to fix that later but 
I really like the coverage of this and the feeling of this. This actually is giving me very nice coverage, but the feeling of it is not a super thick, cakey foundation. So I really, really like this. The shade is matching. Perfect. There's also 43 shades of this foundation. This foundation is also mask friendly, so you can wear your mask when you're running errands and things like that, which obviously is what I'm doing today. And it's not going to budge, which I know is super irritating for everyone right now. Um, to like when you put your mask on and you take it off and you have all of that makeup, like literally my lipstick and my foundation is always in my mask but this foundation is mask friendly so it's not gonna budge i will show you guys later because obviously i have a couple errands to run today and i'll be wearing my mask at the grocery store and stuff like that so i'll show you guys kind of the results of that after wearing this foundation for today i really love this i love the way this is making my skin look like this is gorgeous it's also waterproof and it can really help resist the humidity which also goes off of when you have your mask and you have your hot breath in your mask and it just gets a little warm in there this foundation is going to help resist the humidity and sweat so that's really helpful um for our everyday life because that's something i know we're all struggling with i really like this because this is a very medium to full coverage so i can really add a little bit and leave it on and have a very like light natural look and it still looks amazing but i can also build it up and have a more medium to full look i really really love this i think i'm going for a little bit more coverage today um just because i haven't really gotten ready in a couple days so I'm trying to like feel really good and like get myself together. So we're gonna finish the rest of the face. So I'm not gonna do too much setting to my face. I'm just doing the under eyes just because I normally just set so that I can have a more matte finish to my foundation. But because this foundation is already giving me a really gorgeous matte finish, I don't really feel like I need that. So just doing a little on the under eyes. We're not gonna do anything crazy with the rest of this makeup look today adding a little bit of blush you guys i honestly didn't even apply that much foundation and it's looking really really good like, i'm loving the way this is right now for eyeshadow today i'm doing something really really like subtle i'm just doing a little bit of brown in the crease because i want this to be an everyday look i just want to be able to run some errands and stuff like that and look snatched and i actually look snatched if i do say so myself this foundation is snatching me up in all the right ways so that is the eyeshadow i'm gonna do a little bit of mascara we're gonna do a lip and that's it So this is the final look. I'll come up close. You guys can kind of see the full look of the foundation and everything. Also, the lip liner I am wearing is the Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Raisin. I love this color. I feel like it really complements my skin very well. So I'm obsessed with the way this look turned out. This foundation is really, really amazing. I really think that I'll be able to use this so many different ways. I can keep it a little lighter coverage. I can build it up to full and do a look like this. And I'm very excited because I have lots of errands to run today and I know that my foundation is going to hold up and I'm not going to take my mask off and it's going to be like a bunch of cakey makeup in the mask because this does have 24 hour foundation wear so I'm very excited about that. Thank you to Revlon for sponsoring this video. I love you guys and let's get going on our day. Giving you, giving you an outfit of the day even though you literally can't see anything from this angle. <laughs> Starting over. Here's the outfit of the day. We have a little um, trucker hat on because my hair is disgusting and I decided not to fix it. We've got a little white crop. We have these jeans from Princess Polly that I love. We have my new sneakers. I'm obsessed with them. And then I took this bag from Lou. Well, I borrowed it and then I haven't been able to see her yet, so I haven't made it back. So I'm just gonna make the best use out of it. So this is my outfit to go to Whole Foods. I felt cute because I did my makeup and I'm feeling just like I want to be dressed and have a cute day. So I got dressed so I can go to Whole Foods and grocery shop. I'm very excited because I'm so hungry and I have no food in this freaking house. So let's go to the grocery store. Let's get a couple of things that we need and then I'll give you guys a haul when I get back.
I just got back from Whole Foods. I went grocery shopping, obviously with my mask on. I'm taking it off to show you guys. I need to turn the light on in here that there's no makeup on this. Look at that. No foundation whatsoever. It gets worse with the light. Look at that. There's no makeup. That is stunning. Like literally look at my foundation. Snatched, makeup snatched. I was serving looks at the grocery store and that's that. All right, time for a haul. I didn't get as much as I normally would get because I'm not gonna be in my apartment as much this month so I didn't wanna be wasteful and buy like a bunch of things so I didn't need it. I bought bananas. I've been wanting bananas. Just again, it's something soft I can eat that's like nutritious and stuff. I got these. These are these Harvest Snap. They're like these little peas and I like the black pepper flavor. Amazing. I got some lemons to put in my water just because I've been only really drinking water and not much of like soda. I haven't had any soda. It's been almost a week. I've gone a week without vanilla Coke, you guys. That's honestly like shocking, but it's because what got me in this situation with my teeth in the first place is I have so many cavities. I love sugar. I love candy. I just love everything sweet and I do drink a lot of soda and so I had a lot of cavities that I didn't take care of and so I had to get root canals and I had to pull my wisdom teeth, all that kind of stuff. My wisdom tooth was a cavity, which is why I was pulled. So I'm trying for right now to limit the amount of sugar and stuff I'm having because they're definitely very sensitive. In probably a week or two, I'll be back on my vanilla Coke grind, but for now, I'm trying to be conscious. So I got lemons for my lemon water. I got avocados. I also got butter, because I was out. Um, lately, because I've been having so many soft foods, I've been having a lot of fruit. I've been doing like smoothies and things like that. I feel like I haven't gotten very much protein in, so I bought these protein drinks that I can drink just because I just haven't had much protein. But I also bought some turkey. I'm thinking of doing like a turkey bowl. I'm probably gonna just do ground turkey. I have some rice um, and then I'll put like avocado and then I got bell peppers as well to go with that. So here's some bell peppers. Oh, I thought they almost fell. Again, trying to have a little less sugar but I've been craving candy. I have candy every single night before bed, always. So this is the uh, Smart Sweet Sour Melon Bites. And I've never had these ones. I've had the sugar or like the peach rings, but uh, I got these because there's, there's only two grams of sugar. There's 30 grams of sugar in this entire bag, two grams per serving. So it's a lot better than eating the actual candy I want to eat. I ran out of oat milk, got oat milk and hummus. And then I got a bunch of Olipops. So these are not Coca-Cola. There's only, let's see. There's only two grams of sugar per can in this. It's basically sparkling tonic. There's no added sugars. It's vegan, gluten-free, all that kind of stuff. And it tastes like Coke. And so I have this that I'm going to start drinking in replacement of Coke, which nothing really does it like Coca-Cola for me, but I am gonna do Olipop because it's very similar. And I also have sugar-free vanilla. I accidentally picked up sugar-free vanilla when I went to the store the other day. Um, and so I have that, which is good. So this is all I got, literally everything I got. I just have a couple snacks, a few things I can make for meals. So that's gonna be that. But currently it's 10 a.m. and I have done all of this. And so I'm gonna take my shoes off, take my hat off. I'm gonna sit down and do a little bit of work before I get started on all the other stuff. Okay, I just changed uh, into this top because I'm filming TikToks, but it's about that time of the day where I tidy up my apartment and I get everything clean, which means we're gonna play music and I'm gonna sing at the top of my lungs. Can't play it because I'm gonna get copyrighted, but hey, play Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo. Playing Olivia Rodrigo on Spotify. I have been sitting on my couch for two hours now, making TikToks, watching TikToks. I just really need to get up and I need to get out of the house. I have been like super lazy and I feel weird because I was so productive this morning and I like went to the grocery store and got ready and did all the stuff and 
all of a sudden I just got really tired. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I have my Trader Joe's bag. And I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I kinda wanna get a couple other things. I love specific things from Trader Joe's. I just was feeling lazy to go to Trader Joe's today. Okay, I didn't vlog inside because everyone and their mothers was in there. So this is what I got. I bought myself some flowers. They had so many more options. I'm sad that I picked these because I didn't realize until I got to the car that these are like dead. But maybe I'll revive them. So I bought myself flowers and then I only bought a couple things. I'll show you guys them when I get back to the house. But I realized I didn't buy any like noodles or anything. And so I wanted to get ramen. I bought the famous chocolate hummus for the first time. So when we get home, we are gonna have a bite of this. I don't know how that's gonna be, but we're gonna try that. And yeah, that's basically what I got uh, from Trader Joe's. I'll show you guys more when I get home. But is this vlog just one huge grocery haul? Yes, it is. I had to take the hat off because it was annoying me. Okay, this is gonna be quick because I already did one today. I have these two chicken flavored instant ramen. I got this because I'm hungry and I needed something to eat. And obviously I went to Whole Foods and bought bell peppers and avocados. Like that's not things I can just quickly eat. Okay, anyway, moving on. I got this cold brew. This is, um, yeah, some cold brew concentrate organic. I got raspberries because I thought maybe they would be good in the chocolate hummus. I also got these jicama wraps. These are my favorite. They only have them at Trader Joe's and they're so good. Basically what I do is I take regular hummus, I put it on the jicama wrap and then I layer, where is it? Turkey breast on here um, and it's super good. So just wrap it up, makes a little wrap. I think I'm gonna have that actually for lunch and then I got these speculus cookies again i thought these might be good in the chocolate hummus so i'll try that i know i bought everything at whole foods with no sugar and here i am uh next up i got these tamales these are so freaking good i love these tamales you can microwave them or you can like make them like regular but they're really good and then i got some chicken sausage i like having that with my morning eggs or something and then i got these burritos I'm not sure why i got these burritos but they looked good and i thought they might be good for later in the week when i can actually chew things like that so i feel like oh I feel like the first thing we should do is try the hummus and, and then make a wrap. Ooh, that's, that smells really good. I always, I honestly always was disgusted by this when I saw people eating it, but we'll see. I don't, this is gonna be so hard. Maybe I can like nibble on it. Here's the hummus. This side has no dental work, so I think we're good. You guys, this is actually really good. I'm down for this. I also like that it's cold, you know? All right, now we're gonna make lunch. I'll show you guys how I make my little lunch, even though it's so easy. Here we go. I'm gonna make two of these. These are my favorite thing ever. I'm so glad my mom introduced me to these. So they're super slimy. You guys can see that. They're like, I don't know. They also break easily, so you can't like fold them. They tear pretty easy. So take the little slimy jicama. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on here just because I don't know, I feel like it adds to it. There's some pepper. You can also squeeze lemon on this if you want, but I want it without today. Your turkey. Stack it on top. You can do as much turkey as you want. I just like one little turkey. And if I felt like sauteing red peppers right now, I would lay them here, but I don't feel like doing that. So we are literally just going to wrap that. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot. Always sriracha. Just a tiny bit, unless you like it super spicy, but I don't, so dot 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 oh that was big dots we'll do a dot and a half okay now we roll into a little bitty wrap oh my gosh it looks like nothing because i rolled them up and so small but 
Oh, they're so good and so easy. I figured I would do kind of like a little mukbang style um, lunch with you. This is so good, honestly. It's just painful to chew in general, but I can chew on this side. It's just like, this side's hurting. I forgot I was recording. <laughs> I just said I was gonna do a mukbang with you guys that got on Instagram and like forgot everything that was happening. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I was actually just looking at something. Someone was like commenting on the Khloe Kardashian Instagram photo drama. Basically, if you don't follow, you know, the Kardashians or if you guys didn't see on Twitter, TikTok or something, basically Khloe Kardashian, um, her grandma and Jay posted a photo on Instagram or somewhere basically with her body just looking like natural. It wasn't photoshopped or anything like that. And honestly, I, I will say, I think she looks amazing. I think her body is always looks amazing. But I will say, I can understand how she didn't find it flattering. I think the lighting was definitely a little bit weird. There was only light hitting her on one side and not the other side. A lot of times, like I take photos all the time and if I have light hitting me only on one side, it creates shadows like on my stomach or wherever. I don't know, I'm not defending her or whatever. I don't really know what my opinion on it is, but I can see how she would think it's not flattering because uh, lighting and different things like that. And she also has a very set image on Instagram of what she wants to look like and what she wants to come off as. And that photo was basically not what she presents herself to be on Instagram. It doesn't mean it was bad. It just wasn't the same because obviously she photoshops her photos. And honestly, I feel bad for her because I do think of all of the actually I don't know of all the Kardashians but I do think the criticism hate and bullying that Chloe gets versus the other girls they all have body standards like they all have you know a way that they all present themselves and want themselves to look but Chloe was the bigger sister and was always talked about because of her weight because her sisters were always skinny so I can see where wanting to look perfect at all times once you lose weight can like really affect you and I just feel bad because I, I just don't think it's healthy to Photoshop your photos that much but at the same time you have so many people saying so many negative things about you it's like you just feel like you have to there are definitely times when I have photoshopped or not photoshopped but I facetuned my photos before I've seen a lot of people ever since this photo of Chloe came out of a lot of people showing before and afters of facetuned photos that they have I wonder if I can find some before and afters I don't photoshop I'm being 100% honest right now I don't facetune my photos like my body anymore i've definitely i'll definitely smooth out like my skin a little bit if i want the selfie to look a little nice or what else can i do sometimes i'll brighten up my hair because the pink fades but i don't really do anything to my body ever anymore but i used to and i'm trying to find maybe i can show you guys some before and afters there's something i used to do a lot which was um Okay, I can't find the Facetune album in my photos. I must have deleted it. It's literally not on here anymore. But basically, in my older photos, I used to be working out all the time. And I really, really, like, wanted abs. And I just couldn't get super prominent abs. I've never been able to get super prominent ones. I have some. Sometimes I always get comments like, oh my god, those abs, girl, whatever. And... 
they look good, but I always wanted more prominent abs. Like I wanted my stomach and photos to look like ripped all the time. And I used to edit on like more toned abs. So I had some that were there and then I would go in and I would shade them in Facetune and make them look more prominent. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna find a photo. But it just goes to show like people everyone influencers and like all these different people that you follow you cannot look at them as a beauty standard or body standard you just have to be happy with your own body and the reason I was face tuning my body like this was probably two or three years ago that I was doing this the reason I was doing that is because I wanted to live up to beauty standard it wasn't because like oh I didn't like my body and if I didn't like my body it was because I was seeing what was on social media and the reason I was doing that to my body was because I just felt like I needed to live up to standard and I felt like people kept seeing me work out and I was trying so hard to like get toned and all this stuff and when I wasn't getting the results that I felt like people wanted I wanted it to look like I was so I was editing my photos oh my gosh there's so many and it's honestly embarrassing that I even posted these. They're still up on my Instagram. But I felt like talking about that because I've been seeing so many other people talk about it. Photos that they had uploaded in the past of them doing that. And it's from people you would never think. And I think it all kind of stemmed off of this photo of Khloe Kardashian that people were like, oh my gosh. Um... I can't believe she looks like this. She's such a catfish or whatever it is. And I felt really bad for her because I do wish she could have taken the opportunity when she was getting all this criticism of, oh, like, why are you trying to get rid of this photo? Instead of being like, oh, look how skinny I am. I wish she would have taken the opportunity to be like, you know what? Both bodies look beautiful, it doesn't matter. Instead of being like, well, no, I actually look at this, look at my stomach, even though she's skinny, that just might be something that she realizes later on, not right now, you know? Okay, I'm finding photos. Brandon's calling me. Can I call you back while I finish vlogging? No, because I want to talk to you. <laughs> I want to love to, I want you to love me as much as you love vlogging. Babe. I just want to be appreciated. <laughs> look at this photo like okay I literally edited these abs on like you can see that they were there but what I did was I took like a darker shade in facetune oh, I took a darker shade in facetune and I like colored in where I would contour them so that they looked prominent I think I did it in this one too oh yeah I definitely did it in this one like you can see that I have abs ish but I would just contour them out because, oh, this one for sure, yep, see, like that is contoured. It looks so subtle, but for some reason it made me feel better about myself. This one is like, are you kidding me? You really drew on a six pack, Keaton? Like, I I'm so confused about like all of these. And like even my face in this one, I'm like, that's a little too airbrushed. And I still contoured abs on this photo. You can tell at the bottom. And it's not even like that much in the photo. That's how like insecure and weird. Oh my God, this one. Oh my God, you guys. Like I was sitting, but I was like, I, I need abs. Oh, this one's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. That just looks like muddy. Like that just looks like gross. I, I'm just <gasps> abs in this one. This is one of my favorite photos because my face is not face tuned at all. And I feel like my skin and my like lip color and everything looks so bomb. But the abs, like I'm sitting, I have rolls, but I literally put abs on the rolls. I show all of that just to show that you cannot take Instagram and base what you should look like and your beauty standards off of Instagram. Comparison is the thief of all joy. Seriously, that is why I was doing that. I was comparing what I looked like to all these people that I wanted to look like and I just was like in such a completely different mindset. I don't do this anymore and I'm really glad that I've grown to a place that I don't do this anymore. But I also think it's very important for influencers to just be open about that. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will post this on my Instagram story and just like show what I used to do to my photos because it's, on, it's honestly pretty crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. Let me know like your opinions kind of 
on you know what you think about the whole Chloe situation. I don't really know necessarily what my stance is. I just feel all around bad about the situation. I feel bad that she has been bullied up to the point and harassed up to the point where she feels like she has to look this way all the time. And I'm also understanding the upset over her reaction to it. I wish she definitely would have taken a, a second to be like, oh, they're reacting this way because both bodies are beautiful, not one body over the other. So I do think that's important. I'm gonna finish my lunch. I've got my coffee, not my coffee, my um, Coca-Cola here and I'm enjoying a little lunch and I am gonna get cozier a little bit and start doing some work. Okay, it is, <laughs> this whole vlog is me eating but it is uh, dinner time. This looks so weird, but basically the tamales are frozen. So I wrap them in a wet paper towel and then I put them in the microwave. You're gonna do it for four minutes. Watching frenemies, I'm literally dying. And then here is my dinner. It doesn't look as appetizing as it really is, but it, it actually is so good. The tamales are good. The sun is setting and it looks so beautiful out there. Look at my flowers, my little vase. I love all the things I got today and I'm gonna have a little bit of some dinner. No, I saw it on the thing. I remember it, like right when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute. And I put it in my cart and I was like, I really think Kenzie has this. I'm really not sure. And then I went and I was like, yeah, she definitely has this. I look like a little nerd with my prescription glasses. I just ordered these and I actually have the wrong prescription in this lens right here. So my vision is a little wonky right now, but um, I'm going to sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed today's daily vlog. I know it was just really chill. There was a lot of food, a lot of grocery shopping and things like that, but I love getting to take you guys with me along my day. I am so thankful to Revlon for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. And if you guys want to, you guys can check out any of the products in the description of this video and you guys can also go over to Revlon's YouTube channel and check out some other tutorials they have amazing ones over there but I thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to follow me on Instagram or Twitter and TikTok wherever it is that you guys want to keep up with me I would really appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye